Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. So today we will continue our chapter 2 on part C and part D. So these are the contents of part C and part D. Measurement of power and the last subtopic of this chapter is resonance in AC circuit. So as we know, we use voltmeter or ammeter to measure the current and voltage. Okay. So what do we need to measure power? So we need wattmeter. So like an ammeter and voltmeter, wattmeter can be in digital and analog. So to help you understand the concept of power measurement, so consider the following figure. So this is your schematic circuit. So we have where you have the supply and load. So and then this is your graph for power. So P equal to Vm Im. Okay, instantaneous load power is the product of load voltage times load current. So P equal to Vi. And average power is the average of this product. So from the graph, this is your average power where your average power equal to Vmim divided by 2. So therefore, your wattmeter should consist of current sensing circuit or we call multiplier circuit and voltage sensing circuit or we call average circuit. Okay, this is the connection inside your wattmeter where you have series circuit to measure the current and then parallel circuit to measure the voltage. So this is your connection of wattmeter. Basically, there are four point, two point four current measurement and then two point four voltage measurement. Okay, so let's try this example. So where you have your voltage given voltage load and I load. So what does the wattmeter indicate? Okay, so for A, so as we know before we have learned this formula, P equal to Vi cos theta V minus theta I. So from this formula, you can get the value of your power so you know we here so since the information given already in polar form so you can strictly substitute the value to the formula so your current is 15 cos your theta v is 0 so 0 minus 60 so Using calculator, you will get seven five zero one. So, for B, please try yourself. So just apply the formula and get the answer. So your final answer for B is one four zero nine point five one. Okay, the last subtopic for chapter 2 is resonance in AC circuit. So, the term resonance is very useful in communication such as radio, TV, telephone as well as machine control system. So, the circuit behavior is determined at a certain frequency or specific purpose. This allows the circuit work effectively at optimum frequency or we call resonance frequency. So we will see soon that resonance is actually a condition or situation. In what condition or what situation where Vt in and it of the circuit are increased? So first we look the situation where resonance happen in RLC series circuit. So this is your circuit. So where you have load RLC. So as we have learned before, the total impedance 
Zt of this circle is R plus JSL minus JSC. Okay. Okay. During the resonance, the reactive component SL and XC are eliminated. So therefore, your Zt equal to your value of the resistor. So where this statement is actually XL minus XC equal to zero. So therefore, during the resonance, you have to remember your XL equal to XC. Since the inductive and capacitive reactants are equal, the resonant frequency is determined as follows. So during the resonance, SL equal to XC. So this is the formula we have learned before. SL equal to omega L equal to 1 over omega C. So this one, you simplify the math equation, you will get your omega square equal to 1 over LC. So this is the formula for resonance situation or condition where your omega equal to 1 over square root of LC. So how to get the resonance frequency in Hertz? So omega, we know the unit is in radian per second. So how we want to find the fre resonance frequency in Hertz? So you know that omega equal to 2 pi f. So substitute omega equal to 2 pi f in this um, formula, so you will get 2 pi f equal to 1 over square root of LC. So you rearrange this equation, you will get so frequency during the resonance equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. So where you get the frequency, resonance frequency in Hertz. So this is the fi final formula for resonant frequency where resonant frequency equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. So this is the graph of reactance again frequency. So where you know that during the resonance your value of SL is equal to value of XC. So for the condition of the inductive and capacitive reactants are equal, it has been therefore we noted that V and I are in phase and that the circuit impedance is a minimum being equal to R. So refer back to the equation before, the value of I is determined by, so you know that Z total equal to your value of R. Therefore, I equal to your current through the resistor equal to V over R. Just apply Ohm's law. Okay, so if you remember, I already shown the graph, if I'm not mistaken, in part A or B. So, Power dissipation P equal to I square R for resistor and then the rates of energy storage Q equal to I square XL or equal to I square XC. So we know that Q is actually the reactive power. So for reactive power, it will happen in inductor and capacitor. So for a resonance circuit, we define the quality factor, so Q, Q factor equal to reactive power over average power. So from these two formula, you start substitute in this equation. Finally, you will get Q factor equal to omega L over R. Okay, so let's try this example. A circuit having a resistance of 4 ohm 
an inductance of 0 0.5 Henry and a variable capacitance in series is connected across your supply voltage is 100 volt and then your frequency is 50 hertz so calculate the capacitance in give resonance so as we know as we know during the resonance your value of sl equal to xc so substitute you know that sl equal to 2 pi F, F is frequency during the resonance L equal to 1 over 2 pi F C. So for C, you will get 1 over 2 pi F square L. So substitute the value 1 over 2 pi 50 square times 0 0.5. So you will get your capacitance value is 20.3 microfarad and then find the voltage across the inductance and the capacitance so bring the resonance so i equal to v over r so firstly you find the value of i and then vl equal to this is and the normal formula we use vl equal to omega li ohm's law Okay, 2 pi F L I. So, substitute all the value given. You will get your voltage across the inductor is 2, sorry, 3927 volt. So, and then during the resonance, your value of voltage across inductor and capacitor is the same. So, you will get 3927 volt. Finally, find the Q factor of the circuit. So just apply the formula Q factor equal to SL over R. So SL equal to 2 pi FL. Your value of R is 4 ohm. So you will get your Q factor is equal to 39.3. So based on the value obtained in C, where is your Q factor, the voltage drop across the reactor is nearly 40 times to the supply. So your supply is 100. So the value of the voltage obtained in C is actually dropped across the reactor nearly 40 times of your voltage supply. Okay. Then we look into the situation where your resonance happened in RLC parallel circuit. So RLC in parallel circuit. Okay, so in practical, the inductor has its internal resistor where your value of R is small value. So the inductive branch current I, uh, IL is defined as or I1. This is the formula, IL equal to V over square root of R square plus 2 pi FL. So you find the Z total here. So this is actually your Z total. So V equal to IR Ohm's law. So I equal to V over your Z total. And then the phase angle between I, I and voltage is Theta equal to tangent 2 pi FL over R. So, and then your capacitive, capacitive branch current IC. So, I equal to V over XC. So, you rearrange um, the formula where your, this is your XC. Okay. Since the voltage across the parallel element are common, so the phase, phase diagram for the parallel circuit can be constructed as here. Okay, so this is actually how you prove the formula of frequency resonance in parallel circuit. So finally, you will get your resonance frequency equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of 1 over LC minus R square over L square. So 
if r so we consider that your value of r is very small so the the equation becomes 1 over 2 pi square root of 1 over lc so because we assume that your value of r is too small so your resonant frequency for parallel circuit is equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of lc and then this is the q factor for parallel circuit where q factor equal to sl over r okay so the re resultance current in resonant parallel circuit is in phase with the supply voltage so that the impedance so so during the resonance in parallel circuit you have we call dynamic impedance where your value of the formula of your dynamic impedance is zr equal to l over cr so this is the the way how you prove zr equal to l over cr so i will skip the proven part Okay, so first, we look into this example. So, a tuned circuit consisting of a coil having an inductor to a micro Henry. So, this is your inductor. A resistor of 20 ohm in parallel. So, where you have inductor and your resistor connected is connected parallel with your capacitor and then you have a resistor 8 kilo ohm across a 60 volt supply having a frequency 1 megahertz so this is the connection of tuned circuit okay calculate the value of capacitor to give the resonance so you just apply the formula of a frequency resonance for parallel circuit 1 over 2 pi square root of lc you will get c equal to 1 to 6.7 pico farad and then the second question asks you the dynamic impedance so just apply the formula of dynamic impedance where ZR equal to L over CR. So you will get your dynamic impedance ZR equal to 79 kilo ohm. And then the last question find the current in each branch. So, eh, sorry, first you have to find the Q factor. So Q factor is equal to omega L over R. So your Q factor is 62.8 and then last one find the current in each branch so first you have to find the equivalent impedance so 29 kilo 29 so sorry 79 kilo your zr plus your 8 kilo ohm so you will get 87 kilo ohm so where your total impede, equivalent impedance is your z total here plus the value of your resistor so we, you will get 87 kilo ohm so for i equal to v over your equivalent impedance z total so what is supply given 60 and then your divide by your total impedance you will get 0. 69 milliamp so the voltage drop across C so VC equal to VR so equal to 0 0.69 milliamp times 79 kilo ohm so your VR is equal to VC so you will get 94.5 volt. So the inductive current branch, so IL equal to 
Let's apply this formula. Sorry, let me. So you just apply this formula. I n equal to v over square root of r square plus two pi f f square. Okay, so you will get I n equal to forty three point four milliamp. And then at the capacitive branch current, applied from the previous formula, so I through capacitive equal to omega C, B, C. So omega 2 pi F, your C is the value of this capacitor. And then your V, C is 54 point. Five volt, so you will get forty three point four milli and so that's all for chapter two part C and D. So with that, we already finish our chapter two for this subject. So thank you.